Hey everybody, this is Ed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS to add Snap Widget to your responsive website. This technique will work on any type of website or platform, WordPress or standalone HTML, and on almost any modern browser. The first thing you will want to do is fire up your favorite notepad or text editor so that you have somewhere where you can copy and paste code into. Now I will show you the demo website in its various sizes. This is the site in the large viewport or large desktop screen size. As we scroll through the site, I'll be placing the snap widget into this gray footer area at the bottom of the website. This is the iPad demo site and we can scroll through it and view how it has reacted to the responsive layout as well as the same area where we will be adding the snap widget. I'll now show you the iPhone version and if we scroll through this we can see how it looks and we have the same gray footer area at the bottom. What you will need to do next is determine the size of your website. In this example, this site is 960 pixels. So the grid that I will be using will be sized appropriately for a 960 pixel width. Now go to the Snap Widget website and we enter the appropriate information for our large desktop. Through some trial and error, I determined that the best grid size for the large desktop is going to be 200 pixels, well, at least for my taste, 200 pixels wide and a six by three grid pattern. Then we click Get Widget and we're going to copy this code and paste it into the HTML code that we've included with this tutorial. I have that code in a notepad or textpad document. This is the code that you will copy and paste into the body of your website or wherever you are going to have your snap widget displayed. Basically what we are doing is including all the required sizes of each individual widget and then using CSS we will tell the website which widget to display according to the actual viewport size. I'm going to paste the code into my document in the appropriate area. In this case I'm, I started with the desktop area so I'm going to include it in the same. As you can see, we've included the code for the other different sizes we'll be targeting. In this case, an iPad and an iPhone. We've also included an in-between size so that if there's something that doesn't get recognized, we have a default or a fallback. Going back to the Snap Widget website, we're gonna pick out our next size. For the iPad, I went with a 190 pixel width and a 5x2 grid pattern. Then we copy this code into our document in the appropriate place, labeled here Snap Widget iPad, and paste. We then continue to do the same for the iPad profile in portrait mode and the iPhone profile. For the iPhone, I went with a 65 thumbnail size and a 4x4 grid pattern. And for the in-between, I went with a 180 
and a 4x2 grid pattern. Now all I need to do is copy this code and paste it into my website. As I mentioned earlier, all of these widgets are wrapped in a div tag. So all we need to do is paste it where we want it to display on the site. Copy all this code, then go to your textpad editor or whatever HTML editor you're using and paste the code into that spot and upload it to your site. In this case, I'm using Dreamweaver. So this is the location in the Dreamweaver code or the HTML code where I'm going to paste that code. Once I've pasted the code, I can save and upload this file. You will also need to add the CSS to your website's CSS. In this example, we're using a linked style sheet, but this will work like I mentioned earlier. If you're using WordPress, you just have to put it into the style sheet of your WordPress site, or you can put it into the head of the HTML site itself or the HTML page itself. It depends on how you have your site set up. In this example, we're using a linked CSS style sheet. So going back to our text pad, I also have the appropriate CSS already here. And all we need to do is copy it and paste it into your style sheet. Basically, each of these lines of code targets a different screen size and tells it what to display accordingly. Once you've pasted this into your style sheet, save and upload this to your website. We can now go back to the website demo and view the responsive layout in action. As we noted before, there was nothing here. If we go ahead and refresh, we can now see that it's displaying our grid in the six by three pattern and it fits nicely into the current layout of the site. If we now go over to the phone version and scroll down to the bottom, we'll notice that the phone version is displaying our own grid and it's appropriately sized with the four by four grid pattern. If we switch over to the iPad, we can scroll down and see that it's displaying the appropriate size in this portrait view as well as landscape view. That does it for this demo. Good luck and thanks for watching.